Sham or not, it's a trial to remember. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Trial of the Chicago 7. Yes, I realize I'm way late on this, but I'm finally getting to it, so here we go. This is the latest Netflix film directed and written by Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin has done a lot of really great writing. He did The Social Network, he was on The West Wing, he wrote and directed Molly's Game, which was a very, very good movie. To sum the guy up in a nutshell, he's really great at retelling story. That's what Molly's Game was essentially, and that's what Chicago 7 is because as we are watching the trial happen we are seeing them retell the story of how the riots happened and why they are in that courtroom in the first place i knew about this trial from school as well as the vietnam war documentary series by ken burns which by the way i would highly highly recommend you guys watch that even if you aren't interested in the Vietnam War, just to watch it from an observation of society and political strife back in the 60s and the 70s, as well as just watching a war that absolutely had no reason to happen, happen in front of everyone's eyes was an amazing, amazing series to watch. For this film, I absolutely loved it. I was engaged throughout the whole thing. At first I was trying to put Christmas lights up in my living room for the beginning of the film, but then I found myself standing in the corner of the room for 30 minutes because I was that transfixed. I didn't even realize I was standing. That's how much the dialogue pulls you in. There are so many hooks that just keep digging you into you and pulling you down and you want to dive down. Watching these characters go through the essential justice farce that was happening right in front of them, seeing these seven guys who went to protest the Vietnam War and were essentially ostracized by the Nixon government, and seeing the absolute absurdities from the judge who continually would get plaintiff's names wrong, they would be inaccurate and incorrect with statements, and on the point where they actually make a joke about how he might be senile, seeing the mistreatment of Bobby Seale in front of everyone on a daily basis, and seeing the reactions from both the lawyers of the defense as well as the prosecution. To see and witness something that actually happened to these guys is incredible. Sure, there probably is some dramatic interpretation with certain things, but I remember this being quoted as a sham trial, just in terms of a fight against free speech, as well as just trying to blame someone other than the cops for causing this riot. Obviously, this film is also taking a bit of a mark on what is happening in current society with the entire protest about the police. Obviously, it doesn't go much into the African American or the Black Lives Matter movement as some might want to, but it is focusing on the story. It is focusing on what happened to these characters. And while certain things are a little bit shorter than some might say, it's still pretty well portrayed. And speaking of which, the pacing of this film is fantastic, but that's no surprise with Sorkin. The guy has the ability to pen scripts that have hundreds of thousands of pages and he can condense it and he can give it to you without spoon feeding it to you but also letting you have time to absorb all the information and be absolutely transfixed and that's what happened with this story because it starts off as a pretty basic linear story introducing all the characters and then going to the trial and then eventually we start to dip back in time to see how the riots came to be and how they came to be in the predicament that they're in everyone is killing it in this movie even the side characters the three who i would definitely say absolutely blew me away were red main but that's not so much of a surprise cohen who is fantastic i've never really enjoyed his odd funny characters but when he does serious films even from a comedic standpoint like he's doing in this film he's always really good and then mark rollins who i probably said that wrong but ever since bridge of spies this guy has been killing it even though he's been around for a while keeps getting fantastic roles and he's so good in this film jgl is really good uh john carroll lynch is fantastic alex sharp who went from that douchey swarmy dude from the gentleman who I, I hated his character in that movie he's a great side character in this film as a hippie with cohen i think that this film is a film you should watch because it is a representation of when the justice system can be a farce even in something as first world as the united states and north america is this happens in canada too but the fact that this happened on such a global stage and they didn't 
realize just how much of a farce it is does obviously reflect upon what's happening today. I can understand why, though, it's not getting as much attention as some would say. While it is a fantastically written courtroom drama, it is a courtroom drama, and not to diss this movie at all, but we've seen, a, like, a billion of them. Even Hallmark does courtroom dramas. That's no offense against this movie. Absolutely not. It's a fantastic based on true events story. But like I said, it's just something we've seen before. The camera work, it's not that incredible. It's very, very basic. If anything, it's like watching an episode of Boston Legal. I loved Boston Legal. I watched that show religiously because it was so fun to watch courtroom dramas because I'm an absolute sucker for it. But it didn't have that many interesting shots. I think the last shot of, I didn't even realize was a one take for a little bit of it anyways until I was like, oh yeah, that was a kind of a long take. That threw me off. The simplicity, even though obviously the subject matter is not, but just the simple basis of the film might be another reason why it's not getting as much appeal as it should be. But I think this film is fantastic. I very, very much enjoy it. I'm probably going to rewatch it. I'm going to show it to my wife. In the end, the Trial of the Chicago 7 gets a 6 out of 7 from me. I like this movie a lot. You should see it if you haven't already. And yeah, watch the Vietnam War documentary series. It's absolutely great. You will not regret it. If you guys like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.